What's going on guys? Killer6 back with another Borderlands 2 video for you. Today we are going to show you how to speed farm the Slaga and the Maggie. Now you can only do one or the other depending on what playthrough or what uh, path you chose as you were doing your playthrough. Uh, as you can see from my first character I have the, the Hodunks which meant I sided with the Zaffords during the clan war quest. So if you sided with the Zaffords, you will be killing the Hodunks. If you sided with the Hodunks, you'll be killing the Zaffords. It's pretty straightforward. And as you can see on the very first run, we get a Slaga. That's uh, it's pretty crazy. I didn't expect to get it that quick. So, okay, let's take a look. All right, so the Slaga is obviously a slagging weapon. It is a SMG uh, bandit class item which means it's going to be very inaccurate but actually i got the accurate slaga which uh the bandits they love to spell things wrong <laughs> the uh this one is actually the the most accurate of the the different versions of the slaga that you can get um and it's actually not too inaccurate all things considered um i do consider a lot of other uh, smgs to be better than this one but all right, so let's go ahead and skip forward to the very next run where we get one, and this time it's with my Siren, and she gets it. This was on, uh, I think, her third run, so this puts us at four runs total on this, and we've already gotten two. Now, I will say that it took me another 11 runs after this to get another one, but still, those are pretty good odds. So if you're a completionist like me and you want to get every item in the game, definitely go farm this one otherwise if you're looking for a good smg obviously i recommend the lasco or the sandhawk or even the bitch so all of those are going to be a better option ultimately than this now a quick side note to this farming run is that if you see this box appear over here in this corner then you can get yourself a gwen's head which is a unique blue handgun so definitely look for that now let's go ahead and skip to farming the zaffords now again this requires that you have sided with the hodunks during the clan war, which means that you get to kill the Zaffords. And as you can see right here, as soon as you spawn out of this side door coming from Lynchwood, you will get Mick Zafford immediately to your right. And um, as long as you have some sort of a shock weapon on, you can take out his shield real quick. And then after that, he melts pretty, pretty rapidly. Now, what you don't want to have happen is for him to cloak himself and run away because then he becomes a, a giant nightmare to kill. And this is an example of what not to do. I miss all my shots there. He cloaks himself. I luckily have Death Trap to, to keep me alive here. And uh, then it's just a matter of trying to find him and shoot him because he is a little more challenging to see than uh, normal enemies at this point. But you can usually see the outline of him. And as you can see, he drops me a white item. So not ideal. But this shows you ultimately how quick this farm can be. Um, again, I got all of this stuff within about one hour of farming. I got two Maggies, I got uh, three Slagas, and just a real easy farming run. And uh, there you go, there's the Maggie. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please drop it a like, hit subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.